Okay, take two. It's my second time recording this. Do you want to know why? Because I did the whole video and then I realized my microphone, th this little bad boy here that I talk into, that people still complain they can't hear me. Seriously, reboot your, your uh, YouTube. That's probably a problem because my microphone works. Anyway, sorry, I'm over that comment too. Um, but I forgot that my microphone was way up yonder and turned sideways. So it sounded like I was in the next room, like six rooms over talking. <sighs> yep. That's been my month. <laughs> That's been my month. Okay. So after I did, let's, let's do this again. So after I did my last video, so much stuff has happened in the past month. So much stuff has happened. Okay, most recent, haircut. I completely did a completely different change. Uh, they took six inches off my hair. I got highlights and, no, I got low lights and a dye job. For anyone who's wondering, my low lights are chocolate and my hair color is ruby red. That's the coloring it is. Um, and I have a... What, the, what do they call it? A um, a swing bob, so it's a little higher in the uh, higher in the back, a little low in the front. Um, that's what I got. I have it tied back because I'm doing a whole bunch of meal prep in the kitchen. I know I should be filming it. We'll get into this as we're as we're going. Okay, promise we'll get there. Um, okay, so due to COVID. I have not been able to take my pets into the vet's office until a month and a half ago. So a month and a half ago, we got them into the vets. Okay. Now I have three animals for those who are new. I have Snowflake, which is a white German Shepherd. She is nine. And because she's German Shepherd, if anyone knows, German Shepherds have a lifespan of nine to 13 years. So she is a senior dog and we do have to be a little more cautious of her health. And then there is Simba. She is our newest cat. She is two years old and she is overweight. I know this. The vet knows it. The vet knows I know. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and we just so everybody knows we control her food. We do all this stuff, okay? Even as the vet said, some cats are just bigger boned. And she's probably one of them. And then we have Shadow, which is my baby. Um, she is seven years old. I, ha I hand raised her. We found her the day she was born at the side of our house. It's either her mother dropped her off there or another animal tried taking her. We don't know. But she had her umbilical cord attached to her, everything. Like, I am her mother. <laughs> she is my baby. Okay, but anyway, so that's our three animals. All three of our animals are rescue animals. Now, so we got them into the vets. Shadow, they told me that she was in like the best health that you could imagine possible and the most prettiest teeth, everything that you'd want for a cat, right? Okay, beautiful pink gums, everything. Prime health. So you know, tick one cat off the box. Then we get Simba in there. Aside from the fact she's overweight, which, you know, we owner did discuss this. Um, <laughs> she has, she's always had bad breath. Always, always, always. Now, I did bring it up with our old vet and they just said, they kind of brushed it off. Now I'm really annoyed over the whole ordeal. But anyway, so what ended up by happening was she had a baby tooth that was still there. So she had, I think it was like one of her back teeth or something. I don't even remember now. Um, so she had the, the, the adult tooth and the adult tooth didn't knock out the baby tooth. The baby tooth went up and, you know, you always get So she had two teeth there. So hence there's bacteria growing, hence the smell. So she was booked in for dental surgery. Then... Um, yes, too many S's. I do it all the time. Snowflake. She went in. Now, again, she's a nine-year-old senior dog. So they did what they call a senior wellness panel on her. 
means they check all of her organs, all of her intestines, her blood counts, and see if she's diabetic. You know, they, they, they check everything. And I had to collect a urine sample from her twice. Neither one of us liked it, okay? Both times she looked at me as if I just did something, like I just violated her for days. She would look at me like this, like, why, why, why are you doing that to me? Like, why? You know, it was hilarious. Um, every time I go outside now and she needs to pee, she watches me. <laughs> so <laughs> I try to give her space. But um, so, so she had a full panel checked on. Everything was gorgeous. Other than the fact that she had a four centimeter lump on her chest uh, shoulder area here. So they had to run biopsy on it and check it and everything. Thankfully, it turned out it was, oh, thankfully it turned out it was just a fat lump. That's all it was. Oh, my eye. Um, so thank goodness. But we had to get it removed because if it, we didn't even notice it, which means we don't know how long it was there because how, how observant we are with our animals. We don't know how long that was there and that frightened them thinking that that might have only been there for a few months and it grew to that size. Like I'm talking the size of a baseball, like for people who need a visual, it was like a baseball underneath of her skin. That's how large this was. Not a softball, just a baseball. Um, so it was ma it was massive. So it needed to be removed. So we had two animals booked for surgery. Okay. So on top of getting my animals prepped and ready for their surgeries, I was getting myself prepped and ready for their surgeries because I work. So I had to sort out my work schedule and all this other stuff, which thankfully was really easy my boss well not my boss my manager i guess i don't know it's kind of confusing I, it makes sense to me but to try and explain it to people i guess i'm really confused um <laughs> how the system works where i am so i don't bother but anyway so the person who makes my schedule um i explained everything and they were good about it they just said okay you know like tell us the days and I told them the days I needed and I got those days. And then if I needed to, I could just say, Hey, I need a little extra more time because we didn't know what was going to happen with snowflake because the fact she was having the surgery done there. Anyway, so surgery day comes. Okay. So again, I'm not even thinking about YouTube. I want to put that in here. I was not thinking about YouTube at all. I'm thinking of the welfare of my animals at this point. Because, number one, I'm annoyed because if she has that much bacteria that it smelled, like it smelled so bad, guys. I'm not even joking. Like, the way I explained it to the vet was that her breath smells like a butt. There is no lie. I am not joking. It was so disgusting. Like, stick your nose into a septic tank and that was her breath. Like, times ten. It was horrid. So here's me thinking that this entire time, my poor kitten is dealing with the pain of one tooth with the smell and that bacteria is floating around in her mouth and floating around into her bloodstream, right? So here's me thinking like, oh my God, I'm a horrible parent, like a horrible cat owner, which I'm not, but that's what was running through my head. Give okay, it anyway. So surgery day finally comes. No food, no water, well, they can have water, but no food. And I had to give them a pill the night before. Do you know what it's like trying to give a cat a pill? Like, seriously, some cats are awesome. Other cats are like, both my cats are, okay. Neither one of them like taking meds. So, <laughs> um, okay. So the following morning comes and I give Simba her, her pill because I have to give her a, it's a mild uh, muscle relaxant so the vet's office can actually look at her and take care of her because when she meets new people, she turns feral. Vets won't be able to take care of her if she does that, plain and simple. So we have a mild relaxant that they give her and it calms her down. Oh, I need a nap. That's what I need, I need a nap. It's my day off. 
Okay, but anyway, so surgery day comes. We go through all this. I drop them off. A couple hours later, like here's me. I'm nervous because I'm always thinking the worst. Like with Snowflake, I was thinking that that lump wasn't going to be a fat lump, even though they tested it and they biopsied it. It was a lump, like fat. I was terrified it was going to come back. It was like cancerous or something like severely severe. And it wasn't. It was still just fat lumps. But it was a lot worse than they thought it was. It was into her muscle tissue. As she put it, the mama had babies and the babies had babies. And the babies had babies. Um... It was a massive lump, and then there was tiny little fat pockets all surrounding it that went into her muscle tissue and underneath her muscle tissue, and it was a mess. Like, she was bruised up for quite some time afterwards, and yeah, so, but her surgery went good. It went perfect. Everything was cleaned up. They even, oh. They even removed an inch worth of her skin. So in that way they could close it up and her skin would stay smooth instead of lumping over and then possibility of the fat lump growing again. Then, okay, sorry, I need a drink. Okay, so then while they're, when they called me to tell me about Snowflake, they were going on about Simba. Okay, now it took all my might not to cry when they called me to tell me what was going on with Simba because Simba had to get an x-ray of her jaw, like all of her teeth done. So they knew exactly what they were walking into, which I was okay with. I like, cause I have to okay it. Right. I told them do whatever you need to do. So they did the x-ray. Turns out Simba has a genetic disorder, which I do not remember what it's called. It rottens, it, it destroys their teeth. It attacks their teeth. And so in grand total, she had 16 teeth pulled. 16. Now, the one was a baby tooth, bear in mind. So technically, she had 15 of her adult teeth removed. And they told me probably within five years, she'll lose the teeth that she has remaining. We'll have to constantly, every year, she will have to have, um, she'll have to get her teeth checked and, and like inspected to see if other teeth need to be removed. So when they called me to tell me that she had to have more teeth removed, at this point, I just told them, pull over, I don't care how much it's going to cost, pull all the teeth that need to be pulled out and save the ones that you can. You know, like just, I gave the dentist, like the dentist, I gave the vet's office full, you know, go ahead and do it. They had full permission. So, like I said, they had 16 teeth pulled. So, she, all she has now, now if she bites, it will hurt. So, mm, we uh, do our best not to get bit by her. She has her four canines. And then she has two molars back here, one here, and then one on this side. And that's it. And she'll lose those within the next five years, roughly. So, eventually, I'll have a cat that has no teeth. Um... So we're working on trying to find a wet food that she likes. Not having any luck with that because the day she came home from her surgery, she ran downstairs. Oh, guys, I'm yawning because I'm sitting. Okay, so she ran downstairs right to the dry food and started eating it. Here's me paranoid that she's going to destroy her teeth, but she didn't, like her gums, I should say. And she didn't, thankfully... Everything was fine. You know, I think it was two weeks ago now. They went and had their clearance. Like, they went and had their checkup to make sure everything went good. They're healed up amazing. The, the vets just loved how well they healed up, especially Snowflake, because her, like, you can barely tell now that there was a massive incision. Like, it wasn't small either. It was, I think the incision itself was almost six inches. Like, it was not a small incision. Um, and you can barely see it now. It healed beautifully. Okay, so throughout that entire two weeks, I was not thinking about YouTube. Wasn't, not even the least. Like, this did not even cross my mind because I was tending to my family. 
Like my pets are my family and I treat them as such. I would treat my children this way. I treat my pets this way. My pets are part of my family, as anyone would know. So they come first. And then throughout all this, I became full-time at my job, like officially full-time. I kind of worked like full-time hours in a two weeks, like when I was still part-time at this time, I had worked, what was it? I think it was like 87 hours in a two-week span. It's part-time. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm full-time now. I don't have to do hours like that all the time. That was just a they needed help and I said not a problem because that's who I am uh, so yeah this really has taken a back burner to my life now I'm busy I'm enjoying everything that's going on okay but anyway so there's another thing that happened as well so one day when I was at work I was eating, I make up a whole bunch of uh, freezer meals for myself for at work. I can just grab it out of the freezer and I can take it to work, microwave it, and I can eat. And I made some Tuscan chicken. Sorry, I had to make sure I was thinking of the right thing I made. Because I sat... It's because I sat down, guys. I'm not even joking. I was not yawning until I sat down. Um. Okay, so... I made this Tuscan chicken and I was eating it, eating the pasta. That was fine. No problems. And then I started eating the chicken and my stomach turned and twisted and bubbled for four hours. I had to deal with that at work. That was not fun at all. <laughs> um, thankfully, I do keep gravel on me if I need it. I have enough stomach issues. I've learned. Um, okay, so... Now, for those who are thinking, it's probably a fluke. No, the following day, I was eating a pork roast that my husband had made. And again, my stomach did the exact same thing. It bubbled and it twisted. And it was like, ugh. So, November 4th, I went plant-based. I don't eat meat anymore. I haven't since that day. Well, that's a lie. That is a lie. I ate some of the light life, I think it's called. No, I don't know. It's like 50 50. Don't. It's gross. I ate it because I was wondering maybe if I tried that stuff, that maybe my stomach would accept it. No, it would not. It was like, no, like, hmm, I'm smarter than you. <laughs> my stomach would just did not like that. So I don't eat that anymore. I have it. So that was my only instance. In, instance? Anyway, that's the only time I've eaten it since November 4th, and I pretty much just got to stick with a plant-based diet, which is fine. I'm feeling a lot better again, so my stomach is not like bubbling and twisting all over again, which is really nice. I'm really enjoying that. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm the only one that's plant-based in my family. So I kind of have to make sure I have meals and stuff pre prepared for myself for uh, throughout the week. And I'm also making a meal for tomorrow because my husband is working and I'm working tomorrow. So I need something that, like, well, I'm working. In, we, our schedules overlap all the time. But anyway, um, this time we're both working until like 9.30. Like I'm done work tomorrow at 10 and my husband's done work at 9. So I need to make sure my kids are fed. So I am preparing the meal the day before. That way all they got to do is just microwave it and eat it. And I'm making the pork chop and pork chops and the rice mushroom soup thing. My kids just love that. And so that's what I'm making for them. Um, but yeah, so I constantly, I'm, I feel like I'm constantly in the kitchen anymore <laughs> making stuff. Like right now I'm preparing some quinoa, some rice for the week. I have that on the stove right now. Hence why I do keep pausing this every so often. And... Then I also made up some quesadilla filling, which is, I put a little too much spice in it, which is okay. Um, yeah, like I'm doing a whole bunch of that stuff. I mostly do eat a whole food plant-based diet. Why not? It's healthy. It's better for me. I do eat junk food from time to time. Not gonna lie. You know, I'm human. Gonna be right back. I'm cooking up a, like... 
double batch of rice and for some reason it's taking forever like i mean forever to cook it's kind of weird anyway maybe just because the burner i'm using anyway so yeah um that's what i'm working on right now so i have like different meals going in my kitchen and i can't have a camera set up when i'm doing stuff like this but just because like i i need my i don't have a big kitchen I need that small amount of camera that I need that small amount of camera counter space that my camera would use. Um, so yes, is that something you guys would be interested in seeing some plant based meal prep? Let me know. Um, I am going to be doing some videos here very soon, like really soon. One of them is due next week. I might have to try and squeeze it in today. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I was asked to join on something and I told her I would and I don't back out of when I say I'm going to do something. Yep. <laughs> um, I think I still have those canning videos that I did. I think. Uh, there should be canning kale. I don't know about any other videos. Do you guys want those if I have them still? Kind of at a date. But hey, you know, if you want them, I can find them if I have them. I don't know if I do. I think I do. I haven't touched my camera in like a month and a half. I know. Being honest, I've been busy. But legitly busy, not just like, I've been busy and I've been laying around not wanting to do anything. No, like I'm legitly busy. It's not often I actually sit around and not do anything <laughs> I'm always doing something okay so that honestly has been what's been going on for the past little over a month now oh and snowflake oh my goodness yes I am officially now that dog owner that has clothes for my dog my dog's a German Shepherd like She's a small German Shepherd. She's more the size of a Border Collie than an actual German Shepherd. I'm okay with it. Um, so she's not because she's older. She's not growing her winter down. Normally it would be in by now. But she hasn't grown it at all. So I had to go and get her a winter coat because I was walking her to go get the mail and lo and behold, this poor thing was just shivering and it wasn't even, it was cold, like not cold, cold. Like I had a, I think I had my spring jacket on, windbreaker kind of raincoat deal and I felt a little chilly, but that was it. And, but like I could hear her teeth chattering. She was cold and it's like, um, um, okay. So I went and I got her winter coat. I am going to have to get her a sweater just for like weather like today because today there's everywhere around us has snow. We don't have snow. We don't have snow. We got a dusting of it yesterday and that was it. It's gone now, but yeah, everyone else is like building snowmans and everything. We are have like nothing, which is great. I love it. I know I, know I just cursed it, but it's okay. It's, it's almost December. We're going to be getting snow. Um, but yeah. Poor thing. Poor thing. Joys of getting older. And I didn't realize how expensive... Like, this tells you how much I love my animals. I, did, I got home, and I'm paying my credit card bills. And I'm looking, and I'm going, What did I buy at the pet store that cost me so much dollars? Because I bought the coat, and I bought two treats. That was it. It didn't even dawn on me until I looked at this receipt how much that coat was. I'm like, yep. It's a good thing that I'm going to be keeping this because I can wash it and then I'll put it away. Because eventually when she does pass, at some point or another, we will be getting another dog. This won't be anytime soon. But yeah, so we'll be just, we'll be hanging on to all of this stuff and it will just go to another dog. But yeah. I tell you, I tell you, animals, animals are expensive. If anyone asks me, you know, is it, is it, 
is it expensive to foster dogs or to buy or like to well i guess adopt you would say not buy but adopt um a rescued animal the answer from my mouth is always yes but that's because i love my animals if anyone has not taken that out of like anything out of this video yet we love our animals here they are part of our family and i will do anything to make sure they are very well and taken care of <laughs> so yes um i babbled there i'm sorry so yes that has been what's been going on here the past month actually it's been a little more than a month but that's what's been going on it's just <laughs> one thing after another man um yeah so let me know down below if you guys want to see that if i can find it any of my other canning videos i know i had more because at that point i was like pounding them out but i don't i just um. anyway um i'll see if i have them and let me know if you guys want to see some plant-based um meals meal prep down below and yes i know someone's gonna make the comment saying about the vegan cheese sauce if you type in on my google like on my thing you will find it i have two videos of it already for the two people that keep hounding me about it if you look on my channel you will find it will they be great quality nope but they're there um anyway yeah that's how much i feel about that but anyway so let me know down below and i'll be yapping with you later possibly really soon because like i said i have a video that's due next week next week so stay tuned there will be a video next week <laughs> okay so i <laughs> will talk to you guys again soon